Double Dragon 2: The Revenge. Revenge is a side-scrolling beat-'em-up produced for the Nintendo Entertainment System in the end of 1989. It is the second Double Dragon game for the NES and was published in North America by Acclaim Entertainment, who took over publishing duties from Tradewest. The game shares its title with the 1988 arcade sequel to the original Double Dragon, using the same promotional artwork for its packaging and having a similar plot, but the content of the two games are otherwise drastically different. The NES version of Double Dragon 2 was directed by Hiroyuki Sekimoto, co-director of River City Ransom, with the arcade version's director Yoshihisa Kishimoto taking a supervisory role in the game's development. Players control Billy and Jimmy Lee, who are on a mission to avenge the death of Billy's girlfriend Marion after she is killed during an attack by the Shadow Warriors, an unnamed group in the Japanese version. While this version ignores the plot twist of the first NES game, in which Jimmy Lee turns out to be the final boss likely due to the inclusion of two players' cooperative play, it also replaced Willie, the gun-toting gang leader from the arcade version, with a nameless martial artist who wields supernatural abilities as the game's ultimate antagonist. Also Marion came back to life at the end of the game's hardest difficulty. Single players playing in multiplayer version can use Billy to attack and kill a helpless Jimmy and gain all his power. This is a cheat that can help the wily gamer to reach and complete the final level. According to a North American television commercial by the game's publisher, Acclaim, the NES version of Double Dragon 2 became a million seller soon after its release. Topic: Gameplay Unlike the first NES game, Double Dragon 2 can be played by up to two players simultaneously. The game offers two modes of play, which differ only in whether or not the two players can hurt each other with their attacks. The structure of the game is completely different. While the first stage resembles the one from the arcade version, the level designs deviates completely from Mission 2 and onward, with scenes set in a variety of new locations such as the interior of a moving helicopter, an undersea base and a series of trap rooms. There are a total of nine stages in the NES version. Before each stage, a cutscene is shown similar to the ones in the NES version of Ninja Gaiden consisting of still imagery and text which provides the setting of the stage. The enemy characters are roughly based on the ones featured in the arcade version, but some of them carry different weapons or have new fighting techniques, such as Rauper's ability to throw boomerangs at the player. Besides the final boss, the other enemy characters that are introduced in this version are the right hand men that serve as recurring sub bosses from Mission 2 and onward, and the ninjas that appear at the end of Mission 2 and later on in Mission 8. The game retains the directional based combat system from the arcade version. Unlike the first NES game, the player has full access to Billy or Jimmy's entire repertoire of moves from the beginning. In addition to the cyclone spin kick introduced in the arcade version, two additional special moves were added to the player's set of techniques, the hyper uppercut and the flying knee kick. These two moves are performed while the player's character is crouching, which is only possible after landing from a jump or recovering from a fall. As in the NES release of Double Dragon, no more than two enemy characters will confront the players at any given time, and they will both be the same type of enemy. Melee weapons have been changed slightly to include chain whips, knives, steel pipes, and grenades. Whenever the players defeat one group of enemies, all weapons on the screen disappear, including any that the players are holding. Releases. Famicom – NES The family computer version has a few differences compared to its NES counterpart besides the obvious language change. Both versions feature a choice of three difficulty settings at the start of the game. However, the Famicom version allows the entire game to be played on any difficulty setting, whereas the NES version restricts the game's length based on the level chosen. The easy and medium settings end the game after three and eight stages, respectively, while the ninth and final stage can only be reached at the hardest setting. 
The difficulty levels are also balanced differently in the Famicom version, with the platforming sessions in Mission 6 being easier on the easy and normal setting than they were on the equivalent settings in the NES version, while enemies have more health on the hardest setting. The NES version requires the player to input a cheat code at the game over screen to continue the game at the previous stage, while the Famicom version gives this option as a standard feature. PC Engine The PC Engine version of Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, released in Super CD-ROM squared format, was published by Nahot Soft on March 12, 1993 exclusively in Japan. The PC Engine version is based on the NES version of the game instead of the arcade one. The story sequences from the NES version were remade and are now animated, with voice acting featuring Makoto Horikawa as Billy, Nobutoshi Hayashi as Jimmy, and Hiroko Imori as Marion, among other actors. There are other changes to the game as well. The combat mechanics have been revamped slightly for example, the player can now damage enemies by throwing one of their comrades at them and certain enemy characters can now grab Billy or Jimmy from behind like in the arcade version. The weapons usable by players are different which now consists of items from the arcade version such as wooden boxes, shovels, and wrecking balls. The graphics have been remade completely and the soundtrack consists almost entirely of new music with the exception of the final boss theme and the closing credits theme. Some of the level's designs have been greatly altered and the order of Mission 4 and 5 the undersea base and the forest of death were switched. The PC Engine version allows the player to reach the final stage in any of the three difficulty settings, making the game closer to the Japanese Famicom version in this regard than its Western NES counterpart. However, the ending changes depending on the difficulty setting, with the full ending shown only when the player completes the hardest setting. Virtual Console The NES version was re-released on the Virtual Console in North America on June 21, 2012 for the Wii, June 12, 2014 for the Nintendo 3DS, and August 14, 2014 for the Wii U. Soundtrack A soundtrack, simply titled Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, was published in Japan by Meldak and released on March 10, 1990. The soundtrack features arranged versions of the music from the NES version originally composed by Kazunaka Yamane composed by Kazuhiro Hara and Nobuhito Tanahashi. The soundtrack also features a vocal J-pop rendition of the Double Dragon opening theme performed by Manami Murazumi titled, Dead or Alive. Its catalog number is MECG 28001. An excerpt from the arcade soundtrack was included on the Sinclair user cover tape. Dead or Alive opening theme female vocal version. The vengeful demon has began to move. Mission 1. Dong ki chu shita fu cho gui ugo kitashita fukashu oni. A quiet pursuit. Mission 2. Jin kanaru zui ji shizukanaru suiseki. Tension at the Night Sky. Mission 3, Jin Po no Yi Kong Kinpaku no Yozora. A Pleasant Advance to the Morning Glow. Mission 4, Chao Shao Kino Kue Jin Ji Asayaki no Kaishingeki. Escape to the Forest. Mission 5, Sen Wo Bakit Mori o Nukate. Wicked God. Mission 6, Xie Shen Jashin. Breaking the Barrier. Mission 7, Nan Guan Tu Po Nankan Tapa Enter to the Enemy's Base Mission 8, DG De Wo Xing Ku Teki Kichi Oiku. Roar of the Twin Dragons. Fight of Fate, Shuang Long No Shang Jiao Bai Soryu No Otakebi. Miracle of the Twin Dragons. After the Battle, Shuang Long No Chi Ji Soryu No Kaseki. Sweet Memories. Ending theme, Y Kashiki Si I Chu Nitsukashiki Omoide. Dead or Alive. Edit version. <laughs>